Moments ago, former Hickory police officer Robert George, convicted of slamming a woman to the ground, was resentenced to three years after his appeals court decision uh, in his sentencing last month. Now, the Fourth Circuit Court of Appeals found that federal trial judge was simply too sympathetic when sentencing George to four years probation after the former officer was convicted at trial. The jury found George guilty of using unreasonable force when he threw 24-year-old Chesley Doolittle from the back of a police car onto the pavement. All of that, of course, caught on video shown during that jury trial. So let's go ahead and bring in our chief legal correspondent, Seema Iyer. She was inside the courtroom for the resentencing. She joins us now live from the federal courthouse. So Seema, George is now going to prison for three years. Is that what prosecution was asking for here? Not at all, Ryan. The prosecution asked for 70 months, and that is exactly what they asked for after he was first convicted at a trial. And now he was actually sentenced to four years probation. He served 20, I'm sorry, yeah, 20 months probation. And the defense, they said, okay, the probation, that is enough, because it's really important to note that the, the sentence is a legal sentence. Probation was a legal sentence. The Court of Appeals said the way that that judge got to the sentence was the problem. So the defense was saying, hey, give him house detention. Worst case scenario, give him one year and one day. But what was really interesting was this judge, who took a long time to get to the sentence, he looked at the prosecutor and he said, you asked for 70 months then, you're asking for 70 months now. The guy served 20 months probation. Really? And the whole courtroom was just stunned by that bit of sarcasm from Judge Bell. Guys. And Seema, we know that victim impact statements always make a, a, a big difference in these sentencing. So did Chesley uh, Doolittle get to make that victim impact statement today? Annie, she did get to make the statement, but she did not appear. The prosecutor had said that after the last sentencing, her mental health just could not take it. She couldn't take the disappointment by appearing again. But uh, like I said, the prosecutor read a statement saying that she lost five teeth. She suffered from uh, many bone grafts. She keeps having surgeries. This is permanent damage. She had to drop out of college. And finally, Every day she wonders, what did I do so wrong in my life to deserve this? Now, coming up at 6, I'm going to tell you how this judge compared this case to George Floyd. Guys, back to you. All right. We look forward to that. Thank you, Seema.